For three years, Ponso the chimpanzee has been marooned on an island with no one except a nearby villager for company. But now there is hope the loneliest chimp in the world may one day find some new friends after a campaign to relocate him. Ponso has lived in isolation after his wife and children died on the island off West Africa where they were among a group of apes abandoned by a medical testing company decades ago. His plight touched hearts around the world in February when he was visited by a conservationist, his only contact with humanity save from a kind-hearted villager who brought him bananas and bread the apes only source of food on the tiny island. Now Estelle Rabelland, founder of the Chimpanzee Conservation Center CCC, in Guinea has returned to test the 40-year-old chimp's health to determine whether he can be moved to a sanctuary. Heartwarming pictures posted online show how just much Ponzo enjoyed the company, holding Ravaland's hand and playing with her among the trees. Today we walked around the island, Ravaland wrote on her last day with Ponzo before returning home with his blood samples. He was holding my hand. My heart just melted. It was clear how much companionship when he first met Ravaland in February. The chimp immediately embraced Estelle in a huge hug and laughed as she reached out for him, his smile from ear to ear. For those who know Ponzo's backstory, his immediate ease and trust in humans might be surprising. Ponzo was one of 20 chimps, all between the ages of 7 to 11 years old, relocated to an island off the Ivory Coast in 1983 after being used for testing by the New York Blood Center. The chimps, many captured from the wild, were used for hepatitis research. They were biopsied, anesthetized and chained by their necks to jungle gyms. After the tests were completed, the lab reportedly transferred the chimps to a string of islands, intermittently dropping off food and water because there was none in the chimps' new homes. Eleven died within months after the relocation and the nine surviving chimps were moved once again. Disease and hunger soon left only Ponzo, his mate, and their two children standing. But at the end of 2013 they died within days of each other, and Ponzo was now completely alone. A nearby villager named Germain, who had been caring for the entire family, said Ponzo helped bury them. Although Ponzo had long been abandoned, the New York Blood Center was still caring for the 66 chimpanzees long after the testing program ended in 2005. But in May last year, the NYBC announced it would be withdrawing all support for the chimps because of a breakdown in discussions with the Liberian government. A released statement said there was conflict regarding the government's own responsibilities for the chimpanzees, with the NYBC noting they had incurred millions of dollars of costs for their care. NYBC also claimed it never had any obligation to care for the chimps, contractual or otherwise. The Humane Society of the United States is currently supporting the chimps and trying to raise money for them. And a group called SOS Ponso is trying to do the same for the poor lonely chimp, already surpassing its goal of 20,000 euros all of which will be used for Ponso's care. The funds will help provide feeding, enrichments and urgent vet care for Ponso, according to the GoFundMe page.